Welcome back to Kyle and Drew play Mass Effect 3. In this episode, we're going to be talking to a few people on the uh, Normandy and in surrounding areas. Right now, we've got Cortez just outside the Normandy on the Citadel, so we're going to have a chat with him. You finally made it off the Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkal. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. But you weren't. You're alive. And that's a good thing. Maybe so. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody's given up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. And I'm with you. Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look. No guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had ESO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day? I gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here have put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. So, yeah. I'm glad we did that interrupt. I have a feeling that would have been a bit more broody if we didn't. Yep. So now back onto the Normandy. All right. Oh, look who's here. Ashley. Shepard. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Udina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. What bandages? Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a Spectre, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah. But it sure turned into a mess. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. Well, that'll be the first and last time I wave a gun at my commanding officer. We stopped Udina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know, but we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Welcome aboard, or I don't think so. Welcome aboard. Yeah, shit, yeah. I was gonna punch you if you said anything else. Permission granted, <laughs> Lieutenant. Just keep your gun pointed at the Reapers, okay? I'd prefer it, thanks. Grab your gear and find a bunk, Williams. Aye, aye, Captain. And Ash. Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, ma'am. Not sure if we'll use or not, but I definitely want... I'm in favor of more squad choice, always. Yeah, so... Plus, you know, personality stuff. Shepard, oh. I got Anderson patched in. I was just yeah, yeah. getting him yeah, up to speed. Yeah, yeah. Udina. We don't really have any. That SLB so. was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyleine. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But it should One begin on Omega right even stronger. Did that. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. 
Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly. Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean-specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? Really? That's still open for debate. Yeah. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians yes. need to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into yep. it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Well then. I think we should definitely Shepard, do that one next. Do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Oh, Something this Something they one. can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but... I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Well then. Join us next time when we go find the Quarians and perhaps some other good things. See you then. And welcome back to Drew and Kyle play Mass Effect 3. We are in Purgatory, the bar on the Citadel now, and so is most of our crew. So let's have a chat with Edie. I'm curious. What material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. <laughs> if I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Well, that's just strange. I'm trying to imagine that and can't. <laughs> well, it's basically hair that she can solidify into a brick. Yeah. Anyhow, Jack. Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which... Thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. <laughs> oh, poor, poor you. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore uh, leave. 
Okay, we're taking Jack up to dance. Awesome. Jack also has glowing lights on her shoulder blades and ass. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. <laughs> Poor Shepard. So is this the dancing mini game or that scene over? There's no dancing mini game. It's just that was Aww. that was weird as fuck. That was amusing. That was surreal. I, that, no, it's 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 cool. I like it. It makes it's helping her loosen up, which is the point. That's neat. And Joker. Look at this. I'm just hoping All that Jack and Edie will share hair care tips. How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? You know, with all this interest in Edie, it's possible you've overlooked other options. Uh... I never really <laughs> considered it, Commander. No offense. I just... <laughs> That's Forget awesome. It. So, you and Edie. <laughs> well, yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Why not? That's so because mean. Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action. And it's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis. And a broken heart. It's such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now oh. on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me... I gotta go see if I can have sex with a robot. Good times. <laughs> yeah, we did that before, but I don't know if we recorded it or not. We didn't. So, yeah, that's... Uh, okay, good, good. That's certainly a thing that happened, everyone. Yep. That's right. And we'll cut you all in later in case anything else interesting happens while we're on the Citadel. Goodbye. So and we're back to Let's Play Mass Effect. We're going to have an interview with the reporter chick who emailed us and asked us for an hour-long exclusive on Council Udina in our cabin alone. I'm going to do this in presence of my girlfriend, and this will be very amusing. I'll tell all the erotically charged stories about how her clit is rubbing on our nostrils and stuff. Thank you, Kyle. See, that's what I know I can rely on you for. That's what you're here for in this Let's Play. It's well, very, yeah. very good. Also, the seeing part. It's definitely appreciated. You know. Yeah, right. The, the eyes Trainer, functioning. Is, it's a neat she trick. An interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a Oh, yeah. Commander? I'm ready. She's wiggling her hips at us. <laughs> Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. It's... If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? So, while we've got a moment uh, here, one of the really interesting things that they're doing right here is this is being done from the perspective of her camera rather than the, the camera? normal... Yeah, rather Did than they do the that with the first interview, like in ME one. I don't the... know. I know that's how they're doing this one. So I'm going that's with cool, the yeah. Paragon choice of they tried but failed. Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do. And it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. I just want to say... You oh, can't lose mind. hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. 
Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now, a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. <laughs> Thanks for your no. time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night, <laughs> and stay strong. Because no question? Commander, you keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. I'm okay with that, or let's keep this professional? I'm okay with that. Really? Um, I want to bone Garrus. Yeah, dude. I guess I do. Right, I do want to... Well, no, I want to keep boning Garrus, but I would like to string her along for a <laughs> bit. But... Like I don't know if we can get away with that. Now. <laughs> you gave me a good interview, Commander. That's all I need. Tonight. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> lord. <laughs> all right. Okay, you could... The, the face she there gave us... She, in this game. she kind oh of, like, God. waggled her eyebrows at... Oh, now we can invite James up, <laughs> Drew. Important. What? The reason what Vega wanted was to come to our room. So, I'm gonna call him up now. <laughs> we have a line of suitors coming in and out of our cabin. Alright, let's see what, what Vega has to say. James, I've got some time if you Poor want to Garrus didn't get the note. <laughs> Okay. It's apparently, orgy time and shepherd's hey, time. How's it going? <laughs> no one told Garrus. Good, James. You? Good, good. Poor Garrus. Oh, James is looking at all wow. our ships. So, this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun That's of That's the commander. spirit. Sorry, Shepard. I guess maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I allowed to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone, and they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. I'm sorry, I just can't take him seriously with all his... Hey guys, did you know I speak Spanish? The fact that he drops in all the I know, goddamn but time. I do... I'm curious, I'm gonna ask him what happened exactly. Annoying, but... Yeah, I, I do feel before. bad for him, though, in this case. That wrong? seems like a reasonable... What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. Then the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike. But before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. What? I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Hell yeah, or that's up to you. 
That's up to you. Only you can Battle make that decision, one. James. But I think you already know the answer. I'm glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks I didn't again. want to hit on him. Shepard. Anyhow. Yeah, that was just kind of out of left field. Where the fuck did that come from? I don't want to hit on Shepherd, him. Shepard, this, this, uh, this is uh, Commander Shepard Extra Special Horror Edition. We just got Carnage unlocked as a special ability pickup, so I think we're going to be taking that. So, yeah. We shall see you folks later after we're done fucking parading everyone on the goddamn ship through our, through our quarters. I think we need to go tell Garrus to march himself up to our <laughs> cabin or something, because I just feel bad for yeah. him, you know? Well, we shall see you guys next time when we are going to go to the Corian fleet. Goodbye. <laughs> so we've come down to the crew deck, and Thane is now listed on the memorial board. And Garrus is standing here looking at it, so we're going to see what he has to say. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Caden. Let's hope he's looking out for us. This was his fight, too. Let us all think of Guardian Angel Caden looking down upon us. What? Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Well, while we're down here, Dr. Chakwas has to, to talk to us. We? Who? May I speak Ashley. To you, I gotta figure out where the fuck she is. But Chakwas wants Who's to talk that? to us, and she's right here, so... Oh, fine. Alright. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant. And these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Interesting. That an RA mission as well? Uh, nope. That's on the Citadel. So, we'll have to go have a poke at that the next time we go to the Citadel. Uh, and then we're just gonna go see if Liara is here and see if she has anything to talk to us while we're all on the crew deck. Ooh, the decks, it's taking a. Orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray. But it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Well, nice. Thanks. Liara has nothing to say yeah, to us. I was thinking like a shadow broker. Aw, boring. So Specialist Trainer has said that she would like to talk to us. So let's see what she has to say, hmm? Commander, I'm sorry to bother you. I realize you may be dealing with matters on the Citadel. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Unless they're indoctrinated and this is a ruse to get Cerberus close to the Crucible. I'm not suggesting we trust them fully, but it could be worth investigating. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. 
I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? There's no way to be certain, but I've got a definite possibility. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. Thanks for your time, Commander. Well, I like Trainer. She finds us good information. Commander, that is useful. Nice I, I assume that's uh... How are you settling in, Trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist Trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our War Room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, I think she's hitting on us, Drew. Because we had no budget. Uh, no, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say that, no. proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. I kind of, I really like Trainer. She's smart. She's not bad. A little girl crazy, but well, yeah. yeah I mean, but yeah. she's definitely smart. She knows what the fuck she's doing, and she's not like yeah, yeah, retarded. Commander. So 